Now, I was watching the H3 podcast the other day, and they showed some numbnut trying to cook an entire steak in melted butter. As gross as that was, no one's actually stupid enough to cook an entire steak in butter, right? Except somebody was! Another cooking channel by the name of Cook With Me was actually insane enough to do this. He took a beautifully marbled T-bone steak and dunked it all in butter. It's perfectly marbled. You don't need to put an ass ton of butter on it. But that isn't to say that butter doesn't go good with steak. Let me show you how to do it properly before society collapses even further. First things first, let's construct the garlic herb compound butter. Now then, we're going to combine everything in a motor and pestle. Now you can mix everything in a bowl, but it's going to be harder than you think. Trust me, I cut a ton out of the prime rib episode. Add six tablespoons of unsalted room temperature butter. I said room temperature because we need to make sure that these things soften up. That way it's easier to incorporate our ingredients. Speaking of which, one teaspoon of fresh thyme topped. One teaspoon of fresh parsley chopped. One teaspoon of fresh rosemary chopped. Three to five cloves of finely chopped garlic. Really depends how garlicky you like it. And I like it super garlicky. No sissy sparkly vampires are gonna be bugging me tonight. Three teaspoons of lemon juice. Half a teaspoon of lemon zest. One teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper. And just a quick dash of cayenne. Mash everything until it's well combined. You might have to scrape down the bowl a few times, that's fine. Let's give it a quick taste test. I think it's safe to add in the residual herbs. Now let me stress, this is optional. But I think a little bit more garlic won't mind. All right, let's give it a taste test. Perfect. Now lay out some saran wrap. Scrape it and flop it right in the middle. You'll see some escaped lemon juice, not the end of the world. Now take both ends of the saran wrap, seal the sides, and uh, squeeze it into a little log like this. Roll it up nice and tightly. And uh, stick this thing in the fridge for about an hour to harden up. Now let's talk steaks. I prefer filet mignon, but you can choose whatever steak you like. But you must do this. Make sure the meat comes to room temperature. Once it does, season it with salt and pepper. All right, once we season our meat, let's get to cooking. In a medium sized pan, for the record, doesn't have to be cast iron. Set it over medium high heat Give it a moment to heat up. I'm wasting valuable memory card space and I don't care. Okay, after it heats up, toss in about a teaspoon or two of grapeseed oil. Make sure it gets coated nice and even everywhere. Okay, it's smoking a bit. We can add our steaks. Let it cook for four and a half minutes. Uh, anyway, uh, once those four and a half minutes are up, flip our steaks over. Then take our compound butter, slice it into little medallions, and place them on top of our steak. Let it cook for an additional four and a half minutes. Okay, the four and a half minutes are up. Take them off the heat, put them on a separate plate, and let them rest for about five minutes. 
He's gotta do something about all the smoke. All right, after your meat's done resting and the smoke is clear so it doesn't obstruct the view of the camera, you're ready to dig in. This recipe proves you don't need to be overzealous with the butter. Besides, chefs who tend to go crazy with the butter tend to go crazy with, um, other things. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, hit subscribe and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're uh, coming up on 500 subscribers. That's when I reveal the thing I've been working on for the channel. What is it exactly? <laughs> Hit that button and I'll tell you.